Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about calculus, the topic that is about the summation. So now I want to show you how to answer. So when we put number two going here, we will have like this. Now we put and equals to number three. That should be like this and so on in here. Now we have the formula in here. So that should be about like this. Now we need to combine all the values into this one and we got like this So, number two, or oh sorry, number one, we can change into two square over two square because I want to do about common denominator similar for this one. And number one, we change for n square over n square. Now, we combine two fractions in here and we have like this similar for the next one and this one now in this one we have the formula So, number one, that is about two square. Now we have a square minus b square. We need to transform this one into this one. And that is about number two minus one multiplied by number two plus one. Similar for this one. And this one. So, 2 minus 1, that is about number 1. 2 plus 1, that is about number 3. 3 minus 1, that is about number 2. And 3 plus 1, that is about number 4. So, if I repeat again in here, that should be about like this. So now we need to simplify it. So if we look carefully at number 3 in here, number 3 in here, they will cancel about 3 square. Number 4 and number 4 in here, they cancel about the 4 square. So that means 2 factor nearby, they will cancel about the denominator in the between. That means this one, this one, simplify this one. So if we repeat like this, we just have only this one. So we have 1 over 2 square, but we have another number 2 in here. They can, so we have 1 over 2. And in this one, we will have about n square in here. n square and n minus number 2 and this one we have n oh sorry this is about n not n square 
we have n multiplied by n minus number 2 and n minus 1 to the power of 2. So we know that n simplified by n square, n minus 1 simplified by n minus 1 square in here because we have another n minus 1 in here. So in this situation, we just have n, uh, 1 over n in here. And the next one, that is about n plus number 1. So now, n plus 1 divided by n. So that should be about 1 plus 1 over n. So we know that when n approach to positive infinity, this one will go to positive infinity. Number 1 divided by positive infinity, you got number 0. And now we just have ln of 1 over 2. This is the end. Thank you for watching.